Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about parasites. Um, I find this very important, especially lately, the last 10 years. The science are about parasites um, are really advanced and the approaches became so many uh, because those species are so have such high variety uh, and such a great impact on our body that it is um, crucial to be taken care of. I will be talking about parasites and fungi, and uh, I will be giving advice how to uh, eat, uh, what kind of lifestyle to have in order to either keep the level low or to, um, I don't know if it is possible to eradicate those entirely, because there is no really a test that shows so these species are more than a hundred thousand uh, in the human body types of species and it is very very difficult to fight with them and it's very difficult to eradicate them i don't know if that is possible but if their level goes really low uh, and you maintain a healthy body, you will feel it. You will feel that uh, they are missing or their impact on your body is very, very little. So um, I very often test my clients when I have suspicious for uh, suspicion for uh, parasites. And uh, if you scored high on the fungus and parasite questionnaire, regardless of your other scores, uh, it is imperative that you act on uh, that. It is very important to take my advice here seriously. When your internal environment shifts to point that it becomes favorable for fungi and parasites, they will flourish. They can then change your internal ecosystem with the release of their own chemical mediators. The changes these parasitic organisms make in your body include altering, altering your pH levels. You know, in, throughout the body, there are different pH levels. They can alter that. Releasing immune modulating chemicals. So your immune system doesn't recognize them. I've monitored this for uh, people with cancer. When the cancer is able to do that, to go under the radar of the immune system. Um, and then they also eat your food and nutrients before you can. Uh, parasitic organisms are also also release chemical moderators to um, to trick you into craving sweets, which is the food of choice for most parasites. While there are many approaches and philosophies of addressing parasitic uh, problems, one thing I've learned through my experience and the experience of my colleagues is that where there are fungi, there is usually parasites or soon will be and vice versa. The fungi release toxins called uh, mycotoxins. The mycotoxins are so powerful that they're used in germ warfare. Some mycotoxins stun your immune system while others alter the release of um, key immune regulators and messengers so that the fungi become invisible to the immune system. When this happens, should you either keep eating poor quality or sweet foods, or uh, you are very likely to feed other parasitic organisms, uh, encouraging their proliferation for instance. Very often people are treated for parasites with powerful drugs and um, 
they felt better while taking those drugs, only to have the symptoms return even stronger after the medication was finished. If this occurs, um, it mostly like uh, likely because of the following. The client uh, has a fungal infection modulating the immune system and in the absence of the parasite, the drug has ki just killed. There is now much less competition for food and space for the fungi. Then the drugs targeted only one of potentially several uh, parasites inhabiting the body, again, reducing competition for other parasites. The client, let's say, uh, was educated, um, was not educated as to diet and lifestyle modifications that must take place um, to restore the internal ecosystem and immune system to a level of vitality that protects, again, parasites. So a research presented by Dr. Doug Kaufman in the book, The Fungal Link, showed that about 90% of the American population has a fungal infection uh, today. Um, I think this is quite interesting, quite high of a number. Um, don't think that only people in countries where um, the environment might not be that uh, hygienic uh, have parasites and fungi. No, parasites and fungi choose unhealthy host, unhealthy body to thrive. That's it. It's not the environment that much. Um, indications uh, that you do have or are likely to have a fungal infection include uh, recent current challenges with uh, dandruff, uh, jockage, um, atlas foot, vi uh, vaginal infection, yeast infection, or toenail fungus, or if you have completed a course of antibiotics at any time in your life and without uh, recolonizing the gut with either a human-grade probiotic supplement or by regularly consuming goat milks or yogurt. Uh, a raw cow milk or yogurt is help helpful, but the goat's milk products are more compatible with the human gut. Uh, so that a repopulation or a regular consumption should be at least for three months in order to uh, change all this, to uh, get back to healthy uh, gut. So what do we do? The first step in any parasite evacuation program is to starve the fungi, but to starve them just enough, not uh, too much, not too radically to change your nutrition because they have the ability to switch to other nutrient uh, resources. There are a few reliable tests to indicate the presence of fungi. So the best thing to do is to put yourself on an antifungal diet preventatively at least once a year or once in six months, um, just in case. If you notice a reduction in any symptoms or an improvement in energy level, sleep quality, mental clarity, or reduction in anxiety, you have successfully reduced your uh, fungi population. So what does a basic anti-fungal diet consist of? First and foremost, eliminate all simple sugars. I know it's tough. I know those dessert, uh, desserts are looking at us and inviting us to try them. But these are the fungi talking to them, talking to you to convince you to get them.
even if those simple sugars are organic. Eliminate all fruits, even organic and dried fruits, especially dried fruits, with an exception of green apples, but without the skin, and uh, fresh berries. Um, for the fresh berries, it's good to monitor uh, your symptoms with berries, as some people don't respond well to uh, them due to higher than uh, optimal sugar content. This is the best way to satisfy uh, a massive sweet craving uh, if you uh, must. Third, eliminate all below ground vegetables with exceptions of carrots. You might drink a cup of two or two of carrot juice with raw garlic, raw ginger or apple cider vinegar each day because these items strong are strongly antifungal. You've heard about the garlic, but the garlic has to be crushed in your mouth if possible in order to fight parasites. If you cook with garlic, it's good for cardiovascular system, but uh, in order to target the parasites, you do it this way. Also, the ginger has to be raw. Um, how you um, make it easy to eat, I keep it frozen and I just grate it. Uh, it doesn't have those long threads. <laughs> that is very unpleasant to eat. So number four, do not eat meats that are commercially farmed if at all possible, because they feed the animals poor quality grains that have fungi to fatten them, leaving uh, mycotoxins in meat, which further weakens the, your immune system. Eat a, day, a diet that is primarily of high quality meats and above ground vegetables proportioned uh, to your metabolic type. Uh, this is very important because the food has to be um, absolutely uh, a source of energy for you. Number six is to cook with coconut oil. Now, I find this very difficult. Um, I don't like the smell in cooked food of coconut oil, but there are resources uh, that offer coconut oil that it doesn't smell that much. It's still organic. I don't know what is the way of processing it in order to be less smelly or I cannot smell it and my husband. But um, we cook with butter um, and ghee, but also uh, we sometimes use preventatively coconut oil. So why is that? Um, because the high quality saturated animal fats or coconut oil, as uh, they support the immune system, you may also find uh, it very useful to uh, freeze cod liver oil capsules and take two, three uh, grams, or if it's in a liquid form, first thing in the morning uh, on an empty stomach, or just eat your, um, take your omega-3 uh, capsules just as well. And follow the principles of rotation diet presented to you yesterday, because rotation diet, what it does is to support your digestive system, which is part of your immune system. And also it strengthens the entire body. Uh, it gives you more energy to fight with whatever pathogens your body has inside. Consume raw goat milk or uh, yogurt or use high quality human grade probiotic supplement for a minimum of two months. Um, I would say three to five months. Um, it's absolutely uh, mandatory. And always remember that you can get rid of parasites if you don't make your internal environment unfavorable for them. Um, you can't get rid of parasites if you take amazing supplementation, top-notch uh, supplementation, but at the same time, you eat the foods that are feeding the parasites uh, or the fungi. Um, you can reduce them, but 
you cannot get rid of them. And the most important thing is to get rid of the eggs of those parasites. Uh, parasites don't like healthy vital people they are mother nature's garbage collectors so if you want to get rid of them don't feed them by using your stomach as a garbage can and we very often mention here that it is very important to treat yourself with respect the same respect you give to the car when you put the right type of gasoline in the car the same respect to give to yourself to put the right foods in your body and to give the right lifestyle and environment of your body and um this is um, the base the foundation of health if you have questions about parasites um other species like fungi, bacteria, and etc. Um, I can answer some of them probably. For some, maybe I have to consult. This theme is absolutely vast. Um, there are a lot of herbs uh, that target parasites, a lot of um, tinctures, a lot of essential oils. Some of them has to be taken um under a very strict schedule because in the long run uh, they can be very toxic like the oregano oil people take for parasites it shouldn't be taken more than 30 40 days and in a certain way um and uh what else the lifestyle that uh, relates to a body that will not host healthy body that will not host those species is very complex. It starts with your thoughts, your respiratory habits or breathing, hydration, nutrition, how you sleep, how you move, and are you working on your happiness, your goals and dreams? All these are the six, seven variables that we try to keep in balance in life in order for us to thrive health-wise and also mentally. So thank you for listening and you know where to find me. Um, put your comments below if you would like or if you have something more personal you would like to discuss with me, um, just uh, give me a shout and we'll arrange a meeting and we can discuss it. Thank you very much and enjoy a lovely day.